Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good day to you, depending where you are in the world. It's my nighttime devotion. We're reading from Lift Him Up, a devotional, and the title today is The Lost Sheep, a Special Burden. We're still focusing on the lost sheep, but as it opened up to me, we are the lost sheep. Our world is the lost sheep out of all the world God's created. We are the lost sheep. The scripture reading comes from Luke 15 verse 4. What man of you having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it? It's important to work, to deal with human minds. Man is God's property and angels are looking with intense interest to see how man will deal with his fellow man. When heavenly intelligences see those who claim to be the sons and daughters of God putting forth Christ-like efforts to help the erring, manifesting a tender, sympathetic sympathetic spirit for the repentant and the fallen angels press close to them and bring to their remembrance the very words that will soothe and uplift the soul holy angels are on track of every one of us we're not to despise the least of god's little ones not to exact homage for anyone toward ourselves The angels are all ministering spirits sent forth to minister to those who shall be heirs of salvation. Shall we be privileged to cooperate with heavenly intelligences? Will God accept us as light bearers to the world? Christ has taken the position of one who came to seek and save that which is lost. And he has exalted the world in as much as he did die to redeem it, to bring back the one lost sheep in the fold. Jesus has given his precious life, his personal attention to the least of God's little ones. And angels that excel in strength encamp around them that fear God. Then let us be upon our guard and never permit one contemptuous thought to occupy the mind in regard to the one of the little ones of God. We should look after the erring with solicitude and speak encouraging words to the fallen and fear lest by some unwise action we shall turn away from the pitying Saviour. Those who love Jesus will love those for whom Christ died. If many of the sinners that are around us had received the light which has blessed us, they would have rejoiced in the truth and have have been in advance of many that have had a long experience and great advantages. Take these lost sheep as your special burden and watch for souls as they must give an account Draw not a glance to yourself, but cry with earnest, heartfelt interest. Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. This is the Christian's message to the world. This is the effective argument. Encourage your heart to put forth earnest endeavours to induce perishing souls to fix their eyes upon him who was lifted upon the cross. And remember that as you do this, unseen angels are impressing it upon the heart and leading the soul to believe in Jesus. The sinner is enabled to see Jesus as he is, full of compassion, pity and love. And he exclaims, Thy gentleness have made me great. Psalm 18.35 
whatever we do, however we work, we should, as says, draw not a glance to yourself, but cry with earnest heartfelt interest, behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. Draw not a glance to yourself. Don't attract people to yourself. Attract them to Christ. Give them Christ's words. Give them Christ's life. He gave it. He gave his life. Most will not receive it. Let's give it. That at least they have that direct personal option. <laughs>